Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, it's the 6th of July. So the reason why you saw me just starting to pump up down at the reservoir again is because we've had some rain and we've irrigated two fields um, and we couldn't irrigate the third field because we've had the rain there's no point of irrigating it um, so we may as well pump some water back into the system so we move the pump from the from the field back to the reservoir and just pumping some water back into the dikes anyway today it's nothing about irrigation let's just move on from that no what is happening today is my t6 145 is being fitted with auto guidance auto steer uh, gps if you want to call it that uh, a company called sim agri or sym agri is coming out today and they're fitting my tractor with auto steer basically um, but big thanks to um, Andy at Sim Agri and the boys there are coming out today. Um, real good service um, and yeah, a competitive price as well compared to other manufacturers and other dealers. And um, yeah, we shall see how we get on today. But I've got one tractor. Well, we've got one tractor on auto steer with an older older screen. Uh, but this is a newer screen, it's a newer system, and uh, yeah, we should see how we get on with it. Right, so here's the T6 in the shed. Um, the engineer is coming at about nine o'clock, I think he said. Um, it's going to be exciting to see the sort of differences from the older screen in that tractor um, to the newer screen that's going to be put in here. I believe you can use this screen for ISOBUS, if not that we've got anything ISOBUS. Um, which means basically if that had an ISOBUS connection on there we wouldn't need a control box for it the control box would go through the screen in the uh, tractor um, so there's just little bits like that um, obviously the engineer will go through and show us what's what when he gets here um, so yeah let's catch up with you later hopefully I know what you're laughing at my hair got wet when I was doing that pump I think I need to put a hat on. So, I'm just uh, amending an oil leak on the T6050 tractor, on the suspension pipes. Um, they've got two O-rings on these pipes, one there and one on this pipe, and it's just leaking a bit of oil. Uh, you can see here on the floor it's leaking oil from this end there so I'm going to take them off and replace them my rings um, but the boys from Simagri have turned up we shall uh, go and have a quick word with them right so we've got Andy and we've got Sam who's up in the tractor from Simagri today fitting uh, the GPS to the T6. We'll just have a word with them. How are we doing, Andy? You all right? I'm not too bad, thank you. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. Good. Uh, today we are fitting a GFX 750, which is Trimble's latest display, um, full of lots of features like tram lining, access paths, uh, you can save the fields, AB lines, uh, implements, everything like that on the screen. Um, compared to the older CFX we've got in this tractor, um, there's a lot more you can do on this to yep. that. And this is that replacement. Well, and also we are fitting a new dome on as well, which is a NAV 900. Can you tell us about that, Andy? Yeah, this is Trimble's latest dome, the NAV 900. Um, it's got uh, state-of-the-art um, technology in it, and we can see L1, L2 and L5 bandwidths, which sees up to 30 satellites now. Right, so we'll just spoke to Andy there. We'll just catch up with him in a bit when they're nearly done, when they're nearly installed. But this is Sim Agri. They're part of uh, Furlow Nun, the 
agricultural dealership where they're a business on the side that solely deals with gps so we'll go catch up with them in a bit once it's all installed we'll see what sort of calibrations it is and we'll have a look at the screen when it's all up and running So you rejoin me now. I've fixed the oil leak on the other tractor, but the boys at Simagri are now finished with installing the GPS on the T6. So we'll just go and have a word with Andy and uh, have a chat about it. And um, yeah, start it all up. We won't engage it. We won't draw an AB line today because there's no point really. We'll wait till we get in the field and uh, get drilling with this. But we'll, um, yeah, we'll go and have a chat and see what the crack is. Right then Andy, we're all set up are we? We are indeed, all Spot complete. Spot on. <laughs> all complete, you've got your GFX 750 there, your Sam 200 motor on your steering column, and your nav and nav's on, on the, the, the roof. roof. Right, so let's tell us a bit about this screen then. What's so, the difference and what sort of uh, functions can we do on it more than that other one in there? This screen is Android based and we have the app called Precision IQ. The biggest difference between this display and the 750 you've got on your other tractor is the way it saves its data. So as we can see on here, we have all these white boxes that contain little menus. So number one over here is all our fields, which has field recognition. And um, we can edit and add client and farm to this as well, which makes it nice and compact with our data and then we've got our implements which we can save in here compared to the other one in your other tractor we can't save our implements so we can have a list of implements and um, choose which one we want uh, and then we've also got our task information over here which is our yellow painting which again is really handy so we've got our start and stop time, so we can use that as spray records or anything like that, um, rather than guessing what time we started and stopped. We're running on a signal called uh, Rangepoint RTX, and uh, what axis is that then, Andy? So your range point is 10 to 15 centimetres pass to pass, and it's about two hours repeatability. Um, and it's a pretty good signal. Yep. Um, comes free with every Trimble receiver from you and then annual subscription after that is 295. Now there is a, a higher axis signal isn't there and what's that called? Uh, yeah we've got center point fast which is the next level up for satellite based signal um, and that is two centimeters past to pass with repeatability. Basics uh, covered for the screen and the system that what we've got so a big thank you to Andy and Sam and Sim Agri for uh, setting that up and installing it. I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested Give them a bell or give them an email. But uh, thank you very much Andy no and, worries. Uh, Thank you very much. I'm sure we'll see you later on in the year. We'll see you again. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. We now have GPS fitted to the Mighty T6 uh, I said in the last couple of videos probably when I was planting the potatoes when I was on the power hour doing 0.5 God knows what mile an hour it could be handy so we've took the plunge we took the investment uh, hopefully so we've not overlapping and saving time we'll get the money back over a course of a couple of years but yeah it's gonna save a lot of time it's gonna we're gonna be more accurate with the machines more accurate with the implements that we've got on the back of the tractors um, and yeah it really is a massive upgrade to this tractor and to the farm really um, so dad can be on that tractor with that gps or i can be on that and he can be on this and we're we're both running we're both not steering we're both carrying going in a straight line um yeah so if you like just this little video uh, there's plenty more videos if you go and watch one of my playlists or watch another video more than welcome knock yourself out but hit the like hit the subscribe and yet again a big thank you to the subscribers they are going up uh, someone did say to me the other day 
um, they do enjoy watching the videos i like looking at the comments what people comment um so yeah big thank you thank you very much and hopefully there's definitely more to come soon be harvest fingers crossed it will soon be harvest and um yeah get some good content and um yeah we'll see you again Ta.